The story begins with Riddick, Imam, and Jack barely escaping from a dark planet when they suddenly run into a private mercenary ship, the Kublai Khan. The Kublai Khan asks them to identify themselves. Riddick tries to trick them into believing he is his former captor, William J. Johns, over the radio, but they quickly recognize him to be otherwise after analyzing his voice print. Realizing who he is, they slowly reel in their ship. Riddick realizes he can't break free, even if he tries, so he turns off the engine. He then prepares for the enemy with a blowtorch in hand, implying that he has a plan despite their overwhelming numbers. Junner, the commander of the Kublai Khan, gets furious when one of the crew tells him that the heat signatures suddenly disappeared inside the ship when they were doing a sweep. He then orders the crew to lock down the bay doors to trap them inside while he assembles a crew of mercenaries to welcome their guests. They quickly surrounded the ship as one of the mercs tried to hack its door. Before they start, Junor warns everyone that the man they will soon encounter is far worse than they have experienced before. Should they survive the day, he urged them to cherish those memories as they are as valuable as their lives. He then reminds them not to underestimate them. When the door finally opened, fire suppression foam quickly squeezed out from the ship, swallowing up the mercs nearby. Riddick then pulled them inside the foam and swiftly killed them one at a time. Jack and Imam briefly take turns to resurface, catch their breaths, and go back into hiding while Riddick goes out and takes out the rest of the mercs. They try to shoot at it, but given the size of the foam, they are shooting blindly. Even against guns, Riddick took them down with a dagger alone. Junner noticed Jack and Imam surfacing to catch a breath, so he timed his jump when Jack resurfaced and held her at gunpoint. Junner demands his surrender, having held Jack hostage, but Riddick sees through the disguise and demands Antonia, Junner's boss, to call off her dogs. Riddick explains that Jack is nothing to him and just a cover story, but Antonia sees through his bluff. She asks him to surrender his weapon, but when he refuses, Junner puts his finger on the trigger. Riddick is forced to surrender, throwing the knife at his gun. Antonia then orders Junner to lock them down and bring Riddick to her conservatory. She then orders him to unfreeze more mercs, having lost several of them trying to capture Riddick. She explains that losing a handful of men is a small price to pay for catching a big fish like Riddick. Being wheeled in, Riddick and the others notice men in glass chambers. Riddick claims he's seen plenty like this in merc ships and just needed to figure out how it all works. Imam explains it's a plantation operation where a ship like this would load up at a port and sign on as many men as it can hold. They would then go out for months, even years at a time, to fill up their stores. Riddick explains how merchant rigs usually harvest ore and not people. One of the mercs explains how captured bounties are on one side while contracted soldiers are on the other. Jack asks him what the plan is, claiming to have gotten out of way worse. When they come to a fork, Jack and Imam are taken elsewhere while Riddick is taken to Antonia. Riddick is taken to a viewing room filled with statues on pedestals where Jenner awaits. He discovers that these statues are not what it seems. Later, Antonio walks in on them when Jenner suddenly injects him with an explosive charge, which she explains is a necessary precaution. If he should try anything, she will blow up the explosive on his body to kill him where he stands. Riddick claims he refuses to become one of her statues, which she concurs with and claims is more fitting for her private collection. Somewhere, a lab technician wakes up the Merc tombs from suspended animation. The lab technician suspects something big must be happening if they take him out of cryo after what he just pulled the last time. He later sneaks into the bridge to discover they have captured the infamous Riddick. Antonia reveals herself to be an avid collector of notorious criminals, each one sustained in the form of cryo so profound that seconds seem weeks, and blinking an eye is a day's work. The brain, however, continues to function unimpeded, making them think and feel swarming with whatever dark thoughts they have before being turned into a statue, a more befitting punishment for said criminals. 
She is deeply fascinated with collecting the most wanted men and women in the universe. The number of lives that have ended by their hands makes them priceless art. Antonia explains this is a more fitting fate than simply dropping them off at the nearest slam. When Riddick describes how he is disgusted about the whole thing, she claims she has expected as much. Antonia claims she knows what makes them different, to which Riddick cuts her off and sarcastically calls her a psychopath. She explains why he couldn't appreciate art because he himself is an artist. She tells him that he doesn't analyze art, but he makes it, shaping it with his own hands and carving it from the flesh and bones of his enemies. She claims that a man like him does not need to understand, but to experience it himself. Once she gives the signal, the room turns red, and he finds Jack and Imam tied up in the arena below. Antonia explains how she has always observed fantastic art by terrible men like him, but it was always after the fact that their bloody creation was already cold and had passed. This time, she wants to witness him do what he does best, which is killing things. She refuses to send him defenseless and unarmed, so she gives him a dagger, which Riddick uses to threaten her to bury it in her eye should they meet again. As soon as Riddick falls into the arena below, Antonia orders Junner to kill the lights and switch to ultraviolet, using Riddick's full potential. He comes face to face with two shrills, bioluminescent creatures that look like jellyfish. One of the mercs that fell in with Riddick starts shooting at one, but bullets prove to be ineffective against it. It then catches him with its tentacles and stabs him with its spiked head, which melts the person's skin and bone. Jack and Imam are strung up with a rope on their necks, standing on a metallic ball, while Riddick, master of the dark, fights off two shrills with only a dagger in hand. He struggles to defeat one with his hands still being chained up, and he gets thrown against a wall. When one of the shrills turns to Jack and Imam, they kick the ball against it while Imam holds tightly to the rope so they won't immediately choke out. Riddick saw them dangling and rushed to cut the rope and free them. As he no longer has to worry about the others, Riddick can finally focus on the fight and use the creature's attack to break his chains. They slowly surrounded him and tried to trick him by turning dark, but Riddick could see them even without their glowing cores. He kicks the ball against one of the shrills, and when it loses its balance, he stabs its core to kill it. The other catches him off guard and binds his hands with its tentacle, slowly pulling him in. Jack rushes to help him and briefly lassos the shrill's head with a tentacle. She then throws the dagger back at Riddick, to which he skillfully dodges its attacks and stabs it in its core, killing it. With the shrills defeated, Antonia applauds and turns the lights back on. She is thrilled to see him in action and wonders how she will have him mounted, giving him justice for the kind of man he is. Riddick whispers at Imam to give him the dagger, and he quickly digs out the explosive charge they injected him with. Antonia runs back and pushes the button to blow up the explosive, but he already tosses it away. The explosion blew a hole in the wall, which they used to escape. Antonia is furious and orders Junner to wake every fighter and criminal they have on board to catch Riddick and the others. Not only are mercs chasing after them, but Antonia also releases the Gauls, a dangerous and predatory bipedal alien. Realizing they can't outrun it, Riddick lures their pursuers away while Jack and Imam hide until the enemy passes them and immediately go to the flight deck to await him. Riddick cuts himself up, lures the creature with his blood to a dead end, and tricks it into attacking the pursuing mercs. Riddick then drops in on the unsuspecting alien from above and kills it. Jack and Imam reach the flight deck but are surprised to find Junner waiting for them. He knocks out Imam and chokes Jack when Riddick shows up and challenges him to a duel. The two fight it out, with Riddick using a dagger against Junner and his sword. Junner skillfully knocks off his dagger, but Riddick also makes him lose his weapon, and the two brawl it out. After exchanging heavy blows with each other, Junner gets the upper hand and picks up his sword. Riddick then uses a power cable to strangle Junner and tricks him into cutting it to put the lights out. He later realizes his mistake fighting against the Master in the Dark when Riddick stabs him in the eye with the dagger, the same threat he said he'd do to Antonia earlier. 
Having lost their ship, Riddick takes the enemy's dropship and prepares it for takeoff when a deranged Antonia awaits him inside with a gun pointed at him. She shoots at him, and Riddick falls to the ground, but when she is about to finish him off, Jack picks up Junner's gun and shoots her in the head to save him. Riddick and the others escape on a dropship, but later, Imam confronts Riddick and expresses his concern for Jack. He worries that she is becoming like him should they continue to travel together. Riddick agrees with him and decides to drop them off in New Mecca, while he briefly goes into hiding. Meanwhile, Toom survived and assumed control of the Kublai Khan. He watches as Riddick and the others drift away, intent on capturing him for his bounty. Thank you for watching. Check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos and enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time.